Welcome to video number two for preparing your portrait for the mural project. So in the previous video, we made our file 11 by 14, which is the same size as our wood panel, and then we moved the portrait over to the file and made it the correct size. Now we're going to use the threshold adjustment feature to make this portrait look like a stencil. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over here to the Layers panel and I'm going to make a few copies of the portrait. So I'm going to click on Layer 1 and drag it down here to this button, which is the New Layer button. It's right next to the trash can. And let go. And now I have two copies. And I'm going to take that again and make another copy. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make four just in case I mess up. So one more copy. So now I have four copies of the portrait. So on the top layer, I'm going to go ahead and go to the adjustment panel and I'm going to add a threshold adjustment to it. So on the bottom row of buttons, third button over is threshold. I'm going to click that and then I get this menu option here with the slider underneath it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get Brittany's hair to look the way I want it to look. And she has some beautiful highlights in her hair, so I'm going to move this slider around until I bring some of those highlights out. And I think that right around here, 83, threshold level 83, looks good to me. You can see um, dark parts and light parts in her hair. So you can see that other parts of her face are really washed out. I can't see her nose, um, her mouth doesn't look so good, her eyes look pretty good though, but there's no eyebrows. So this adjustment layer worked really well for the hair. I'm going to have to do some more to make the other features look nice too. So what I'm going to do is merge this threshold with the portrait below it. And the way that you do that is just on the keyboard, hold down control and push the letter E. So now that those two are merged together, I'm going to turn off the eyeball and that shows the layer beneath it. I'm going to go ahead and click the layer and go back up and do another threshold. This time I'm going to bring out the mouth and I'm going to move this slider around and look at it until I think that I like the way it looks. And I like 113. It's showing just a little bit of the bottom of the nose. It has the, the lips look pretty nice. It has the smile lines on the side of the face. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with uh, 113 for this. So again, I'm going to push Control E on the keyboard. So now those two layers are merged together. I'm going to turn off the eyeball to hide it temporarily. And on the last one, I want to make some eyebrows show up. So I'm going to click on the um, colored portrait layer and get click the threshold button on the adjustment panel. And I'll move this slider around until there's some eyebrow showing. And let's go ahead and go with 142. So over here in the layers panel, I'm going to click Control E to merge those together. And I still have one more copy of the portrait in case I need to make some more adjustments or in case I mess up one of the other layers. So I'm going to turn these eyeballs back on and um, I'm going to click the top layer, which is the layer where I wanted to bring out the hair. So I'm going to, um, the layer that's below that one is the layer where I thought that the mouth and nose looked good. So I'm going to get the eraser tool and I'm going to make sure that the options for the eraser tool are set. Um, I want 100 for the hardness. That's already set for me. 
and I'll go ahead and click size 19. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, but I can change that in just a minute. I'm going to move the cursor over here and just click to get rid of that menu. And it looks a little small, so on the keyboard next to the P keys, P key are the brackets. And the right bracket makes the brush smaller, I'm sorry, larger. And the left bracket makes it smaller. So I'm going to go with this size right here, and I'm going to erase the top layer and reveal the smile that I liked on the bottom layer. I'm also going to erase a little bit to bring out some of the hair around the top of the head. And erase down this side a little bit, bringing out the hair slightly. And I'm going to bring out a little, oh, oh, that's too much. So I'm going to undo that. So control Z is undo. I'll leave that side alone. Okay, um, the next thing that I wanted to do is bring out some of the eyebrow. Well, I wonder what the eyebrow looks like on, okay, so I think on the second layer, the eyebrow looks pretty good. So I'm going to delicately erase a little bit of that. To, I'm going to make my my eraser smaller. Get some. Oops, too much. So Control Z to undo that. All right, now um, the let's go ahead and bring out the eyebrow on the other side. So what I need to do is go to the second layer down in the layers panel, and I'm going to start erasing through that, and I'm going to erase through the top layer to reveal the eyebrow on this side. Whoops, a little bit too far. So you can see that this is a little bit of a give and take. You have to kind of um, play around with it until you get it looking the way you want. I do think that I want a little bit more um, shading on the side of Brittany's face. So I'm going to go ahead and erase a little bit more here on the side to bring in some of that dark shadow on the left side of her face and make the eyebrow attach a little bit to the side there. And bring in a little bit of this smile. Let's see, I wonder, I'm going to try to bring out, there we go, bring out some of the chin and some of the shadow underneath the chin there. And of course, this is all up to your own, what, what you think looks good. Um, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to print this. That's all for now.